well, you know, that right there, you know what I'm saying, before Conglomerate, you know, even came about or whatever, you know, man, man, my man, MG, we all, we, we, we had a, a relationship before then, you feel what I'm saying, and personally, I knew him before, you know, basically uh, Christ, P, or whatever, you know what I mean, before the music thing even started, you know what I'm saying, and one day, he seen me coming out of, uh, I was coming out of church, you feel what I'm saying, real talk, and he told me that he had, you know, a studio that he was trying to, you know, put together and we needed to holler at him, you feel what I'm saying? We was doing a lot of stuff at the time or whatever, and um, the, the, the studio part was shut down, you feel what I'm saying? We wasn't recording or nothing. So, you know, I got with Christ or whatever, you know, I told Christ that we need to really go holler at my man Gotti, you feel what I'm saying? He, he, he said he got something for us or whatever, you know. Conglomerate, the first time I heard about Conglomerate, man, my man Monroe. You feel me? I always knew Gotti, but I knew Gotti for something else that y'all don't know about. You feel me? So, like, I've been knew him, but Monroe always to tell me, though, Gotti's starting the studio. He want to do this and this X, Y, and Z. You feel me? I just know Gotti from doing what he did and always supporting our movement, though. Before he thought about rapping, he was buying CDs from us. He always seen what we was doing. When we hooked up with Main G, got into the studio. First of all, when I found out <laughs> that Boss G rapped, Shit just fucked me up, you know what I'm saying? But then I heard the nigga, and the nigga was fire, so the collab just had to happen. Monroe, he told us, he constantly told us, like, yo, we need to go see him, we need to go see him. We never did. God, he had to come hawk us down. He he came and grabbed us on our turf. You know what I'm saying? We had to go shoot a little pool. That's when he gave us the rundown, told us that we need no, we need be nowhere else but right there. You feel what I'm saying? So right there, he grabbed us by the collar and drug us to the studio. We wouldn't, he wouldn't make it without him, so he grabbed us by the collar, took us to the studio, laid down the track that night, and we already knew right from there we wasn't leaving. You feel what I'm saying? Long story short, we went to Sam or whatever, you know what I mean? And it, it, we did the damn thing, you feel what I'm saying? Conglomerate right, has just been, you know, a part of the heat, like, you know, we together, you feel what I'm saying? That's just been a, a different part of the family. But like I said, it's all one family, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, that was crisis for all his fault. He introduced me to Gotti, and to this day we're together. That was four years ago. First heard about Conglomerate via uh, one of Main Gotti's cousin. He brought me over and uh, got in the studio. Same thing. Did my little sing thing, and after that, everybody was feeling me, and we just kind of took it from there. Conglomerate, like I said, you know, they they they're my heart. They're, they're they're the beginning of my roots here in Jersey. When I came here, that's where I stopped, and that's where I've been ever since. So. Conglomerate, you know what I mean? That's, that's actually a funny story, you know what I mean? Um, I had, I started um, kicking it with my man H, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to H, H was good, you know what I mean? Um, he heard me spit, and he was down, he was already down with the team Conglomerate, you know what I mean? He was telling me, yo, I gotta bring you to the studio, you gotta introduce my man Gotti, I'm gonna put you down with the team. I think the name of the team was uh, ABFG at the time and shit, you know what I'm saying? That was the name of uh, H and his man Deuce. You know what I'm saying? So he brought me down there, you know what I mean? I got I sat down, I kicked it with Gotti, you know what I'm saying? Gotti heard me spit. And from there, like, Gotti was like, yo, you conglomerate, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what nobody say, you conglomerate, you know what I mean? So, I mean, even with that, like when I went down there, it was it was mad niggas. The first time I went down there, it was like mad niggas down there, crazy niggas down there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would say about like seven, seven niggas down there that either spit, sang, whatever, you know what I mean? Niggas all doing their thing. So me even being around that type of energy, I'm like, yo, like this is what it is. I'm good, you know what I mean? Like I'm just watching these niggas doing their thing. They got a deep, they got a, a mixtape coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 that's that's crazy. That's a crazy work ethic.